Hey kids, I hope you all are doing well. I'm making this video to show you guys what I have been up to in my nature journal. So the first thing I drew is this, which this is supposed to be a pink cloud um, that I saw in the sky about a week ago. It was during sunset and all of the clouds turned bright pink and it was so beautiful that I thought I would try to capture it in here. Um, but as you can see, I don't think I quite pulled it off. <laughs> This is my first attempt. This is my second attempt. Um, and I'm not really a fan of either of these, but I'm glad I tried. So, moving on. These are the flowers that I've pressed. I've got here, this is Creeping Phlox, Wild Violet, Fig Buttercup, Lavender, Pink Wood Sorrel, and these are baby leaves from a red oak. And I did start by completely taping down the flowers because I didn't want them to break. Um, but then it makes it really hard to see them. So I figured I'll just use one piece of tape so that I can still see how pretty the flowers are. And also I downloaded an app that I use to help me find the names to all of these. So if you guys have anything that you want to know what it's called, you can send me a picture of it. Because um, I did have to pay for the app, so I figure we can share. I haven't done anything on these pages yet, but I think I'm going to press more flowers on here because I've been really enjoying that. So this is a drawing that I did that was inspired by the leaves of the pink wood sorrel that are in the shape of a heart. So I drew a heart on a piece of paper, cut it out, and then traced it into this pattern. And I'm going to finish coloring it in, and it should be really pretty. This is a pansy that I drew. My mom planted some in front of the house, and they're really pretty. It's a really good time of year to plant flowers around your house, and they attract bees, and it's really good for um, the environment and just making the house feel a little bit more beautiful and a little bit more magical. I, uh, if your parents are comfortable with going to pick up some flowers, maybe they might want to do that or um, maybe order some seeds from online to grow something out in the yard. I know that morning glory is really easy to grow and that um, the bees and butterflies and hummingbirds all love morning glory. Uh, this is a drawing that you guys have already seen. If you haven't already seen this, I did do a video on how I made this, um, which it's really easy and fun. Uh, it's just a drawing of a bunch of leaves and flowers that I found out in the yard. And that's it. So if you uh, want to add pages, to your nature journal it's really easy you just undo the binding to add a page and you do want to make sure that you put the holes in the right spot so I um, put my paper in here marked where the holes needed to be before I punched them and I hope that you guys are finding some inspiration out of nature and making some fun things in your journal. So if you have, send me some pictures. I'd love to see what you guys have been up to. Y'all stay safe and healthy and I will put up another video for you guys soon. Bye.